with the rigs from three to midnight on the Corpus Christi Bay. I get off and drink till daylight, sleep the morning away. I'd plan to take my widgets, leave the rigs behind for good. But that life, it is contagious And it gets down in your blood I lived in Corpus with my brother We were always on the run We were bad for one another But we were good at having fun We got stoned along the seawall We got drunk and rolled Seven zero eight seven nine four six three eight six. Isn't that a great number? If you get all those numbers in the right order, then uh, we'll, we'll call. Will you talk to us? It's a little treat. Yeah, bonus. Not only did you get the numbers in the right order, but someone answered. Today's Thursday, which means we have an audience member. We do. What are they doing? They're just sitting there. Just sitting. Enjoying. You want to be an audience member? Come on down to Fish and Live, because um, all you have to do is come here, and then we'll sit you down. Security check. I think Jonathan goes through your pockets and makes sure you don't have any weapons. Um, I think he did that. What Sh- if you should have no, done that? No cigars. Well, you can have cigars. Really? Thank yeah. That's sweet. Um, I love I love having a guest audience here yeah. on Fish Center. We only have room for one or two people. We have one chair. There's our chair. Yeah. And 
and uh, that guy is sitting in it. Don't click away, you freak. <laughs> fish Center. Hey, you're doing a great job, Fish Center Live. Keep up the good work. Thank you. These fish don't mind when you watch. You're so sexy. You guys are so good. I love the fish. Fish Center. Fish Center. Center. A little bit after four here on Thursday, the 5th of March. Thank you for coming back to Fish Center. We've been doing the show for some time now, and people seem to um, listen to it here and there, occasionally watch it. I saw on Twitter uh, someone said that it gave them a nosebleed, Whoa. a headache, mm -hmm. and they said to stop. No, but, don't stop. But the thing is, I looked at their Twitter profile, and they're actually a dominatrix. Oh. So they find pleasure in pain. Yeah. Yeah, but the dominatrix doesn't want to be the one bleeding. Oh, really? Yeah, it's the see, I've dominatrix. See, I've never been, so I didn't. No, know that. I know. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I never see you. Yeah. Are you more of a uh, uh, top or bottom, Max? Uh, whew. it's a hard one. Yeah. Did you ever see that Adult Swim show, Top Doctor? Yeah, but a, a doctor is a top. Yeah. Can we look at our audience member? His name is. Matt. Matt. I said it too. Yeah. Hey, Matt. Hi, how's it going? Hello. Matt, what's your last name? Um, it's not Forrester. It is Forrester. No, it's definitely not. Is it Forrest? It definitely is that. How many R's in Forrest? Uh, depends on how you spell it. Well, how do you spell it? I spell it with two R's because that's the way my uh, parents uh, gave it to me. Now, it looks like you have a reversible head where you can turn your head all the way upside down and it would look similar. I don't, I don't think it works like that. Can you do a screen grab of him, Max, and see if you can possibly rotate his face? I think face? you're going to have to take a picture with your camera. Okay. We don't have that ability. Yeah, I don't have an setup. ability to take this screen. Okay. I'll do that. Go you to back to that other shot, though, so I can get a nice picture of You look shot. really comfortable, Matt. You look a little oh, bit like Dave. <laughs> but you've also got Matt's turn name. Turn slightly to your left. My beard doesn't grow. Right there. Thick. Perfect. No, no. Straighten your head. No. Come on, man. Or a guest, you have to submit to our requests. Okay, good. Oh, uh, don't, don't move. Stay like that for ten minutes. It's taking a long time for me to do this. Sorry. Are you okay. doing a time lapse? No. Okay, we got it. Excellent. Return to your position. So stay tuned. After this break, we'll come back and have a reversible head. Yeah. How did you get that into that chair there, Matt? What? Yeah. How did you get into that chair? How did I sat down? How did you? Uh, how did you oh, become oh, a guest? Oh, 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 right. So um, you got to send an email uh, sure to uh, Fish Center Live at gmail dot com, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and uh, you uh, you know ask to be on the show. It helps if you live in the area. Where do you live? I live in Home Park. It's like really close. Do you know um, Ben and Ashley? Um, no. Yeah, yeah. Do you know, uh, now, man. We're all best community. friends. Yeah, I don't know. They they live in Home Park, don't they? Okay, cool. And it's only like what. Hundred houses or something. You bring a uh, cake or a baked good? Uh, actually, um, yes, I brought some uh, some eclairs and uh, something else too. I don't know. They're very similar. Eclairs. Some like cream cream somethings. Okay. Cream sausings. Awesome. Cream puffs. That's what it is. Cream puffs. No, is it, what's your favorite pastry? Oh, um, mine is cream puffs. Think about it. We'll get back to you on that. Mine yeah. is actually cream puffs. Thank you. So. Today's Thursday, which means tomorrow's going to be our Feeding Frenzy Friday, and we've had a poll going with a var variety of creative options as to how we're going to feed these poor, helpless crawfish that, to the meal fish. That's absolutely right, Matt. We had a few options. I'm going to go through them with you. If you could walk us through those options, Max. That would be wondrous. It's, we had um, High Dive. We had Walk the Plank. We had Pirate's Booty. We had Fun Fun Die Slide, and we had Crotapult. Now, this is a link to a poll you can find if you go to our personal pages, our Twitters, and Facebook. Uh, Facebook, and um, we got a great link that will take you straight to doing this poll. As you can see, a lot of people are voting, and Crotapult is way in the lead. 39% first point um, for first point place and fun, fun, die slide. The yeah, pro problem with this poll let is me that finish. how the hell are we going to pull off a Crotapult? Well, I meant to ask Peter about that, but I forgot. Peter, if you're listening, you got to probably Let's think through that. that. And, uh, and maybe this has to be ready tomorrow. And this yeah. has got to be ready tomorrow. Because it's Feeding uh -huh. Frenzy Friday, and it's going to be badass. Maybe we're going to get a Playmobil, like a little Playmobil castle. No, no biggie if we miss our deadline, though, right? You might have one in your closet. I got a whole package of all medieval Playmobiles. Did you play with Playmobiles when you were... No, nah, I was more of a Lego man. No. Okay. Did you, uh, well, 
you can vote still on this poll up until I already said that. You tomorrow. were too busy scrambling around the corner. My computer was unplugged, and it's important that it's plugged in. I think, Should yeah, point it out? there's a little loose flap of skin on Dot's mouth. I have two theories. Okay. One is that she was attacked by another fish. Okay. B is in a fit of madness she rammed her face into a rock repeatedly. And C is... I said I have two theories. So I know I said... Three! United Kingdom... Canada, Netherlands, Australia, I hope he says Romania. Belgium, Germany, France, India, Italy, Japan, Norway, Slovakia, Sweden, Turkey, South Africa, Romania, <laughs> Lithuania, Pakistan. I cannot believe that there's actually people listening to this show in those countries. I refuse to believe that. Boom. But I also believe it, so I don't know which I do. We have no proof, really. Just whatever Drew sends us. It's true. Drew wears Star Wars shirts all day, so who knows what he's doing. What does he do at night, you know? Yeah. So how's this look? Does it seem like it, his head is indeed... Reversible? Revolvable? Reversible? Oh. Yeah, it kind of does. A little scratch Wait, right that, there. Now flip it upside down, Max. Okay. Right. I don't notice a difference. Boom. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Whatever, whatever's happening looks good. Who right. taught you computers, Max? I uh, talked a bit to you, my papa. I talked a little bit to um, your teacher. My teacher, Evan. Evan. Who you want to reunite with? Who I really oh. want to reunite with. Evan, if you're out there in Los Angeles, give me a ring. Why? Because I miss you. Who cares? Fudge you. Don't call, then. Go die. Boom. <laughs> Got ringed. <laughs> Max, uh, you want a Pepsi challenge your Vincent? upside down head? Pepsi challenge? Yeah. What the yeah. hell are you talking about? Kathy? Now get rid of that cat and move it over, and you can have them side by side. How about when this is over, we go do a little coke? had a very big week here at the Fish Center. Dr. Tim Link was in recently, and he was helping us learn a lot more about the fish. We've been doing this for so long that we real quickly realized not only do we not know anything about these fish, that we know very little about their personalities. And we're also kind of disconnected from the medical physical world. Black screen. I want you to start using your projection in connection with a particular animal. I talk a lot about communicating verbally with animals as well as connecting with their energy, yeah. using strong visualization yeah. to get them to understand and do the things that, that you need them to do to live a harmonious life. And the visualization is very, very important behind that. So when we talk about animals, choose a certain animal. Let's say Tang. Tang. Right there. And visualize what you want Tang to do. Connect, get calm, get quiet. Focus. Say Tang you, and uh, I want you to go down by the boat. I want you to go down by the boat and visualize that. And the more you connect with it, the more you're quiet, and the more you visualize that happening, the more it's going to happen. 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 Hmm. It's going to open some minds. He's a professional anal communicator and professional rakist, and uh, he's going to... Anal gonna communicator? Animal. Either one works. We're going to have a special report coming up. Oh. I think we'll maybe show it in the morning one day. Wouldn't that be fun, have it go in the morning? 
Yeah. We'll do a lot like of nine stuff in the AM. Yeah. Maybe we'll have it come on after Fish Center. By the way, has anybody watched the, tun- the new Toonami show that we have on Adult Swim streaming? You should check it out if you like that kind of stuff. Fish Center Live, what's your name? Where are you ca- ca- calling from? This is Seabass from Telluride, Colorado. Seabass. What's, what's going up? on, Seabass? Not too much, dude. What's up with uh, Dottie and do you know, her uh, mess? Do you know, C- do you know C- Cool? What's that? Are you any relation to C- Cool? C Cool? No, I'm not familiar. You don't know C Cool? Hey man. No, who's that? Hey man. I don't know what's who that up? is. I don't know how. To, how do we describe C Cool? I'm C Cool. How are you? C Cool is a computer that Max built in his spare time. Oh, so he's like a robot. Yeah. Yeah. I wish that we lived to tell you, right? Do you want to switch lives in with the us? Robot. In the robot. In the robot. We want to live there, and you oh. can come live here. Yeah, word. We could uh, have an exchange program. Me and you. You come here and do this, and I'll come there and be in Telluride for like a week. Hmm. Want to do that? So you, li- you live in Illinois, is that correct? Atlanta. And, and this S is silent on Illinois. Oh, the reasons. ACL. Yep. What's it like now that weed is legal? Because <laughs> it seems oh. bad for people. Yeah. Dude, it's amazing. Do you These vape? come here. No, it's not. And they, they've never had weed before. It's and they bad take for you. way too much. Yeah. Like they eat, eat massive amounts of edibles, and then they just freak out. Completely is there, freak out. Is there a and term? To go to like, is there a term for like the um, intro cookies or something, or the intro weed or something? They have like a cool term for it for people or novices. For, oh, I know what it is. You ready? Ready? What? The term for an edible for a first time user. Ready? I'm ready. You guys ready? ready. A rookie cookie. <laughs> you, ever, you ever see that movie American a Beauty? Cookie. You ever see American <laughs> Beauty with Kevin Spacey? He's, yeah. He smokes marijuana in that movie. One of my favorite okay. scenes of all time is when that young man and the young woman are watching that film he made with the Wes, bag. Wes, when Wes and, and uh, Rachel. Rachel. We were watching the bag with it. Yeah. yeah. One time I saw a bag yeah. blowing around, and I thought it was one of the coolest things I'd ever seen. And I got out my iPhone and tried to video it, and I thought, wait a minute. I just like this because I saw it in American Beauty. It wasn't actually that cool. Hey, uh, guy from Tell hey, uh, Guy from Tell Your Eyed. I was, oh, I was wondering if I could, uh, can I get some points, man, for hamburger? Well, you're going to have to play games. Them. Sure, man, I'm down. You gotta earn them, man. Do you want to play a scratch off game? Scratch off. Do they have off. lottery tickets, like scratch off tickets in Colorado? Uh, I guess. Doesn't matter. I think, yeah, they, they have, do. I, they I never do really get into that, though. I, I get a they vague notion uh, Matt Forrest is not a hamburger fan. Hamburger. He was just hamburger. shaking his head no. Hamburger. Hey, hamburger. Yeah, he doesn't have a journey thing. I mean, it's just. Matt, will you just do us a favor when you have a question? Just raise your hand and we'll oh, call Oh, sure, on you. absolutely. Okay. Let's practice that. Sounds good. No, you're not Matt. You're Sea Bass. No. Matt, practice oh. raising oh. your hand for a question. Can you practice? Uh, Matt, you have a question? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what's up with this hamburger thing? Do you like hamburger, Matt? I like hamburgers in between two buns. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> what? This guy's crazy. What happened to you? Where'd you get this crazy love of meat? I mean, it's delicious. Listen, uh, <laughs> guy from Telluride, you ready to play Die for Coin? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, okay. Uh, you need to choose uh, one of the, your fish. No, he doesn't even have to choose one. Hosts to scratch for you. Because, oh, that's because of the even. delay. I choose Max. You, it's not to you, Dave. Who do you want to scratch the coin for you? Uh, what what are you guys' names again? Matt. I know there's Max. Matt Forrest. That's all I know. That's all you need to know, my brother. Yeah, that sounds good. I guess. Matt, okay. Matt, Matt Forrest question. has a question. Can you yeah. guess the other names? Hold on. Just a second, Matt. Brandon. Brandon. Lee, uh. Um. Charlie. Yeah. Dude, who knows? Who knows? Okay, Matt. I, your just, I know all the names of the fish, though. Yeah. I got all the names of the fish. I think down. that's the important. Can part. you name all the fish in ten seconds? Oh, yeah. Go. Uh, 
Dottie, Swamp, Greenberg, uh, Mimosa, Amber, uh, Big Blue, and Tang. Nope. Squirt, 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 squirt. I forgot squirt. Okay. No, it was Old Blue. Pretty good. Oh, okay. Which, so we're gonna scratch your match me. You want that to happen? Uh, yeah, yeah, scratch the match me. Alrighty, All right, we're how many see. points are on the line here, Max? You got 20, let's find out right now. You wanna find out how many points are on the line? I would love that. Okay, let's scratch it. Oh, it looks like you got a top point card. It's a 25 point card. Wow, 25 jackpot. Points. That's a jackpot. So let's see if you win it. You have to scratch the match me, and then there's six coins to scratch. If one of them's a Drew, you lose if you get a Drew, but if you scratch the match before you scratch the Drew, you win. I'm going to visualize. Uh, shut C up, Dave. See, cool. Who, which, do you want me to C scratch the match? Can you shut up? I'm going to scratch. You, you, like don't, you, right you right never right tell right me to shut up, Max. Let's go you for never the tell me to shut up. top right. No, he doesn't. He has I'll to slap choose. that smirk right off your face. Okay, choose, sir. Well, he wants me to scratch the match me first, right? Uh, I'm saying bottom left. No, but I have to scratch the match me so you Just know what you're going for. Scratch the match me. Scratch the match me. Just oh do it. Oh my god, why are you being such a pill? All right, hamburger. I'm gonna win, man. Yeah, I'm no, gonna that's win. Dottie. Oh, is it? Slap Let's you see. so hard the fly on your zipper falls right down. Got it. Okay, so sir? you still want to scratch bottom left? Yeah, bottom left. You sure about that? Yeah, just my final answer. Just scratch it. Oh. Sounds like you're scratching that flop bow. Is that, is that what's going on here? Yep. I got bad news for you, sir. Oh. You've been, oh. You've just been found, drewed. You just found Drew. <laughs> I've been Drew. Yep. Thanks for calling. Drewzer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave this card open today. And the viewer who scratches the right coin will win the 25 okay. points. Does that yeah, sound good? He's not going to toss it? All right. No, I'm just going to keep it around, you know? Give people a chance. Okay. Yeah. Good idea, Max. You're so smart sometimes. Thanks. I'm sorry I yelled at you, Dave. I accept your apology, but sometimes you have to consider other people's feelings. A lot of people have been asking me, how do we get CoinQuest to work? How do we get these coins in the tank? And it's actually a lot more interesting than you would think, right? It's true. Take a look at this. It's about equal. Oh, there he is. It's Flatman Harris, our guy who places the coins. He's checking out the field. Placed one coin. Placed another. And there you go. He's placed it in a reverse T formation, Dave. Is that correct? That's true. That's the Thursday formation. Thank you, Harris. It's a, it's a stereotype that Thursday has this formation. Yeah, but it's true. Sometimes stereotypes are based on truth. Right. All, all the time they're based on truth. Get out of here. They wouldn't exist if they weren't true. Joe, you're so racist. Yep. That's true. Okay. We have 60 seconds on the clock. This is going to be the beginning of the end for one of the fish, and the end of the beginning for the other for one of the other fish. It's a curious way of looking at it. We're going to need uh, to begin right now. Clock's ticking. Mimosa casually There's no action towards the bottom. Mimosa missed uh, just it. Missed. Sorry. Tang getting Tang, a point. Of course, enforcing the law of the coins. Another point for Tang. Doing a little side scratch on his back. Greenberg Ooh. and Mammoth getting points. Oh, they both got it? They yeah. both got it. Yep. Okay. Mammoth is there. Point. I thought it was closer than that. Old Blue got a point. He's he's looking in the crevice. It looks Rarely. like Greenberg just torqued on Flump. Tang just got another two points. You don't see dual points very often. No, but Greenberg is narrow, so if there's a fish that's going to share points, Greenberg may be the most likely. Did you get that Mammoth point, Dave? Yes, I did. Squirt got a point. Got an email earlier saying that Mammoth was uncharismatic. Well, that's not true. He's the most vibrantly colored fish. What, what could you possibly want in a fish? He's very charismatic. Tang got a point. A little squirt out of the mouth and old blue. Ooh, Tang missed that one at the end when he swooped in. Yeah, it was a little yes, too late. that was too late. A little late. too late, unfortunate. And when I said squirt out of the mouth, that wasn't a squirt point. Squirt was squirting out of his mouth. Squirt, right. I would say, is the rudest fish, with, what with all his spinning. 
and all of his mean phone calls. Do you tell your kids not to spit? Uh, I tell them not to spit when I'm playing basketball with them and spit on the, on the court. I wish uh, Squirt carried around a little Pepsi bottle that he would spit into. I wish we all did dip together. Like chewing tobacco. Right. Like as a group. Well, let's do that, Max. You ever chewed tobacco before? Man, I'm dipping all day. Chew some Red Man and see if we can get you some spins going. I, I gummed myself out, got rid of all my teeth, so I could always tip. Right now, leave a message and I'll call you back. Thanks. Huh? That, that sounded like Dr. Rich. That was. That was his voicemail. Oh. Should we try again? He's calling. He's He was calling here. That doesn't make any sense. That's weird. Cho. What the hell's wrong with you? Five That's points not for my Tang. Fault. Uh, old so Blues. Everybody relax. Old Blues in second place, Hamburgers in first. Tang's got 69 points, Greenberg's at 42, Mimosa's over at 39. Catching up. All the fish are catching up with each other. Except for Flump. He's living underground. Living zero. It's sad when you have nothing. Flatman Harris is like, uh. It's like Flat Stanley. You guys remember Flat Stanley? I remember it from when we talked about it earlier today. Yeah, well, I know. I know you do, because we talked about it earlier yeah. today, but I mean, it was a euphemism to. Because I wanted to mention that you can yeah. download your own flat man. Don't call him, Joe. He's calling here. Did we just. Someone, someone else called. Oh, okay. Fish Who? Air Live, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, what's up, guys? It's Adam from Connecticut. Whoa. Cool. Thanks, Adam, for calling. Uh, nothing's awesome, up. Awesome, Joe. Love you guys. Definitely, what's going on? Very excited to be on the air. I like your energy. Thank you, thank you. I try to bring it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Very masculine. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> what's up, guys? How you doing today? Doing good. Are you really? Are you ready to s to scratch off a new coin? <clears throat> Ever since the first time I've seen Die for Coin, it's been my dream to play it, man. I'm ready. Now's your chance. Yes, indeed. Who, All righty. Who do you want your points to go to? Oh, does when he choose? He gets to choose well, who to erase. If he wins. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Which coin do you want to erase? I, I would like to erase the top right. All righty. If it's a Drew, you Drews. If, a, if it's a Lou, you lose. No, man, it's a hamburger, Sorry, but hamburger. you didn't Drew's. You still got to go because you didn't get a Drew. Which one do you want to scratch off next? Right next to that, top middle. Top middle. Yeah. Kind of dumb because he can't really lose now. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh. oh. <laughs> Sorry. Who just swallowed a bunch of spit? Cho, was that you? Gross. <laughs> Should have spit into your Pepsi. Bro. Sorry, brother. You just got That's Drew. Okay, I tried. tried. I, I want to keep Hamburger in the top running for sure. I want him to take this week. Well, that doesn't matter because you lost. Don't so get Dr don't get Drew. No, next I know, time. I know. I still had to give him the on-air shout he out. Under, you he know understands, how Max. You don't have to be a dick about yeah. it. No, I'm just saying he doesn't need to say anything. The fish doesn't understand. If you want to give him a shout out, come here, be nice to him, kiss him through the glass. Don't just say things. Pa uh, pardon me, but Adam, uh, Matt Forrest has a question. Um, yes. Uh, I was sure. just wondering uh, who uh, who was Kingfish yesterday. What? Yeah. The up? king was declared. Do you know who guy on the line who was Kingfish yesterday? Fish yesterday. Um, it's a trick question. Don't pay yeah, attention. Yeah, nobody was he's uh -huh. testing because right? it's tomorrow, right? Absolutely. Yeah, Hamburger was tomorrow. in the running at, uh, with 106 points. This guy knows. But uh, yeah, he was. Uh, I mean, I guess he could be called King for a day. Okay. He was king technically all week, but there was no new True. king. Yeah. True, true, true. No, I, I want him to take this week. True, true, true. Because, uh, you know, I mean, Tank's cool and all, but uh, I, I don't I don't really want Mimosa in the running, to be perfectly honest. She's very mean to slump. I always see her attacking him on the tank. I don't I don't like how she rolls, man. I want Hamburger to take this week in, in the running for my man Slump. Thanks for calling. Whew. Ooh. I think Mammoth was just mean to Flump there. I think Mammoth, the uncharismatic fish. 
It's true. Though. I don't feel like we've uh what received you know any love donations or anything to Call Mammoth. from. Not in a while. Fish yeah. aren't live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, Jacob, uh, from Kentucky. How you doing, Jacob? Uh, not bad. Is that a biblical name? Or are you uh, named after Jacob yeah, Dillon? I guess so. You got very well, one uh, headlight fame. Do you have religious parents? Uh, yeah, unfortunately, yeah. Do you not love your parents? Uh, I've never actually met them. <laughs> Long story. Okay. Let's start it. Start who's, your beginning. who's your favorite fish? No, that's a boring question. Uh, hamburger. And uh, is there any way I can get some points for them? Tell me, <laughs> tell me the story, man. Step one. Uh, well, uh, let's see. First, uh, there's a circus, and yeah, just a long, funny story there. <laughs> if it involves a circus. Yeah, uh, it does. Uh, my dad was actually a carny, and, uh, yeah, mom was, uh, yeah. Well, somebody that run away with a carny, so it's, yeah. A, 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 a lion? Wait, what? Wait. What, you, what? Which fish do you like? Well, uh, fish hamburger, man. Do you want to play Scratch for Man? Uh, yeah, I would love to. Which coin you going for, Lou? What's your name? Jacob. It's a biblical name. Uh, let's go with the, uh, bottom left, or Bo bottom right. Bottom left has been scratched. Bottom right, is that your final answer? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh no! Man. Oh no! Another, how many Drews are on this card? <laughs> card is all Drews. It's the worst card ever. I'm sorry, another Jacob. Another Drew. Lou. Carnivals are uh, overrated anyway. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, Matt Forrest has a question thanks, on. Thanks for calling. Line Jay. nine. I just wanted to say uh, there's a carnival in town in Atlanta, actually. Yeah, what's it called? I, it's, I don't know. It's just like Carnival Ride, you know? Maybe maybe we can facilitate a meet and greet with some of our listeners. What else What else is there in town? I don't know. I just stay in my room and play video games. You and Max would get along famously. You know what was a famous friendship that I really like to think about? Um, Gilbert and Sullivan. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, do you know that... Um, you can play Coin Quest at home. Yeah. In fact, we get guest submissions of people's tanks. We've been doing guest tank competitions. Dave, we've got a guest tank submission right here. Is that so? Yeah. This guy sent us in his tank. This guy named Thomas Jones. It's not his tank. He's an EMT, and he went to a nursing home or something, and he ran into this tank, and... There's all these fish, ding dong, yeah, yeah, Pequio, I, remember, I remember you telling Malaya, me about that. Malaya, Flip, Zuko, Corazon, Mosquito, Casanova, all these famous fishies he's got. And he was like, I want to see if your guys totally beat my guys in a round one of Coin Quest. Yeah. Okay. Should we Let's try that out? It, yeah. I think we should try it, just to see what happens. Alrighty, well, I'm cutting to a live feed of their tank. Okay. Uh, Flatman Harris, good, thank you. He's inspecting the tank. I see Pequeo. Pacquio? How do you pronounce it? Pacquiao? I've never been to uh, Italy. So. Okay, it's a um, reverse T. I guess we should begin the round. Um, Dave, are you ready to mark? I'm ready. Go. Okay. That started on a coin so it doesn't count. Okay. One point. Okay. Um. Two points for the tank. Three points for the tank. Okay. Pacquiao just missed there. I like that big golden man in the middle. These fish, uh, they don't swim too fast. Oh, I like that guy. Yeah. Gets a point. How about oh, that? Oh, Little Dipper got a point with a kiss. Ooh. And that, that big black one swam by for a point. Yeah. And that guy got a point. Oh. This, um, 
What's that fish that looks like a... a I don't know, a dust ball. The one that's, like, all shamey? Yeah. Oh, another point. Those fins don't count, though, for that Those big are, guy over there. Yeah. Ten seconds. It's not going to beat our tank, I can tell you that much. You don't think so? Right Ooh, one more point. Buzzer. That was nine. You don't think that's going to beat our tank? I don't think it's going to. I'm sorry, but I don't. I'm not sorry. It's just the way I feel. Well, Dave, if you'll tell me the total for that round for them, I'll tell you the total for our round. We got a total of 11 points that round. And that fish tank got a total of nine, so we won. Thank you, Thomas, for sending in a guest tank, but we win. We win, haha! -ha. Thank you so much, yeah, Thomas. Feel, hey, by the way, we're undefeated. Bad for him. And so us far, versus Guest Quest. Two to zero, Guest Quest. Uh, our fish are the best Coin Quest fish in the world. Lots of practice, I guess, right? What do you say? I'd two. say so. We have Mr. Live, what's oh. your name? Where are you calling from? I didn't even know what we just said. Hi, this is Dr. Rich, live from Australia. Oh, Dr. Rich, how are you? Hi, fine, thanks. How are you? What's Doing? it like in Australia? It's summer down there, is it not? Just about. Leaves, leaves are done turning last time, so it's all coming together. Is it fall down there? Or is it summer? What day is it? Happy Friday. How are you guys doing today at Fish Center? What time is it there in Australia, Dr. Rich? 1.37 tomorrow. How's the practice? How's the medical all right. practice? Do all right. still have a license? Framed and on the office wall. Thank you. You have expensive looking glasses. The service, uh, your service must be in demand. They kind of look like Matt Forrest's glasses. Hmm. Let's They're uh, Oliver Peoples. Ooh. It's a popular <laughs> brand here. What uh, what brings you to Fish Center, Doctor? Yeah, I, I sent in a comedy bit I thought would be perfect for the show, uh, and I received an email receipt saying you received it, and I was wondering if it would be possible to have it played on your show. The comedy bit? Was it the one from D. Rich? It, did you send I, it to uh, me, or did you send it to the Fish Center live? I don't the think Gmail I address? I don't think I saw that, Doctor. Uh, oh, like, I uh, see it right now. This movie file? I had my assistant put it in a movie file, kind of like uh, Jay Leno when he walked. Hi, this is Doctor Rich. Jay Walker oh. from Australia. Here Wait a is. second. It's another comedy submission. Here goes nothing. Thank you for calling the North Carolina Aquarium at for Please hold while I try that extension. <laughs> Carolina Aquarium, this is Julie. Hi Julie, this is Dr. Rich, live from Australia. I was wondering if you guys would be interested in receiving some rare angelfish I'm looking to donate. Oh, well, great. Hang on one moment and let me get you some one from husbandry, okay? Okay. So far, things are going smoothly. This is Dr. Rich, live from Australia. Um, I was sent to you, I was looking to donate, I own a bunch of rare angelfish. Uh huh? And I was wondering if, you, um, if you'd like to have them. How big is it? There's about 30 of them. 30 of them? Wow. Uh, do you know what species you got? Do you know why I don't want them anymore? Why? So I don't believe in homeschooling. Okay. This is Dr. Rich, protect your pets. Okay. 
to how you said you had 30 of them? Huh. All right, well, we watched it. Dr. Rich, are you still there? So, Dr. Rich. That was, uh, you sent that, and we got it, and we showed it. Uh, thank you for your submission. Thank you. We, we will consider it and get back with you. Dr. Rich, if you want to actually make something a little bit more worthwhile for us, if you've got, um, and I don't mean that in a dark or negative way, but uh, if you've got some animals at your farm or at your, at your hospital right now, uh, Flatman Harris for Home PDF has just gone live on adultswim.com. That's A-D-U-L-T-M-O-S.com. And you could download a PDF, and you can print out your own Dr. Uh, Flatman, and you can set up your own CoinQuest game if you want to get us something like that. Thanks, Dr. Rich. Have a good day. Thanks for your encouragement. Goodbye. Round two. Count your coins. Game time's on. Let's get, uh, let's get Mr. Flatman out there to position the coins. Inspecting the field. It's true, it is the same position, an inverse T, except there's a negative one. It's a major difference, very significant to the scoring. Ninety seconds now on the clock. That negative one is really going to change things. It could. Let's begin. Soft, soft and round two. Charismatic miss by Mammoth. Surf Sport just puking all over everything. Negative for Mimosa. Plus one for Squirt. Tang backing it up into. Plus yes. one for Blue. Negative for Greenberg and Tang. Another negative for Greenberg. Tang getting a plus one. Tang working around this negative to pick up some pluses. <laughs> Negative for Mammoth. Negative for Greenberg. Plus one for Greenberg. Negative for Tang. Negative for Tang and Old Blue. Another dual negative this time. Wow. wow. Interesting. Another negative for Tang. Never have we seen two duels in a single... <clears throat> um, Stools. Sometimes failing doesn't feel quite as bad if you fail with another person. That's right. Tang Finn's the negative one there. Greenberg getting a point, Mammoth getting a negative. Squirt plus one, squirt plus one. Squirt plus one oh, wow. again. Oh squirt wow. Squirt plus one That's again. a great little run. He just he knows made. what he's doing here. I'm he looks so glib as he did it, though, so he, I just can't respect it. Yeah, he got the points. Negative for Tang. It's like a little... And Greenberg was too low saved late. Saved by the buzzer. Greenberg did not get it. No. No, it was saved. Do you think uh, barbers ever say, man, I really messed up that haircut? Yeah. That's sad to think about. Sometimes right. at work I make a mistake, but I cover my tracks. Were you looking at Matt? What? I, got, I got a haircut by an old man once, and uh, he, he, I knew it was going south on me as, he, as it was happening. And uh, halfway through, he took off my uh, cape thing, right. shook it out, and said, you're done. And I just walked out as fast as I could. So we're Half your, a haircut. You were doing your Superman cosplay. Yeah. How do put you the, know you... What? Put the cape on backwards, first of all. I knew I was in trouble. So then where'd you go? To another barber and got it fixed? Yeah, I just went around the corner. My grandmother once took me to her friend to get my hair cut when I was like 14. Um, but then she was teaching her other friend how to cut hair, and they both cut my hair and did a, a, a real bang-up job. You've had some wild times with your grandma. Yeah, no, we're, we were good, we were good pals. In New Orleans? My grandma, LaVon, doesn't really do anything fun. Really? Five points for Sir Squirt that round, doing the best of today. Here's the scores. Not really going to help, Sir Squirt. <laughs> Maybe our uh, guest could could uh, play a uh, game. Play uh, get that sub out later on. Sub? You mean Mistletoe Man? No, no. We should play Mistletoe Man now, but later, depending on the scores, if we need that sub, we can maybe bring. We'd, we'd have to bring him in here. I mean, he's a real great gamer. He's MLG. He's in all the big leagues. Matt, if we were to instruct you to target a particular fish. I think you could do that. Oh, yeah. 
Absolutely. Do you have a stake in this right now? Who do you want to see win? Who do you want to not see win? I don't, I don't really have a, a favorite. I, I, I mean, I, I'm not a big fan of hamburger, obviously. Yeah. Got obviously. that hamburger haterade going. No. Wow. Why aren't you a fan of hamburger? Like I said, he's... I don't know. It's kind of reclusive. You just like a lot of excitement, a lot of speedy motion, visu uh, stimulation, the visual sense. But you got to see the irony there if you hey, judge him uh, for John being Bob reclusive. Just say you guys got a wicked <laughs> I mean, you said uh, it yourself. All you do is sit home and play video games. Hey, Cho. I wish yeah. one day I could have a I'm talking huh? to the guy, Cho. That's... Yeah, so I would just like to order the Sir Squirt t shirt. And 4X, if you have it, and uh, I'd, I'd like him with one of those attitude signs, you know, like get out of my face, or, 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 hey, is that you? You know, funny stuff like that. And uh, anyway, Matt, are you, you sick? Tell me, you know, what it costs and the postage and everything. How's it going, y'all? Uh, this is Wild Bill. Calling from, you know, a small town in Ohio. I was curious. I seen that there was a shiny bright nickel in the back of that fish tank. I was curious what that weird picture was. They were not fit. And, uh, I'd like to give three points, uh. Uh, do fish like tacos? Do, do fish like tacos? What about, um, burritos? <coughs> Yes, I agree. What? My name is Auntie Manuma. Auntie Manuma from Claypool, Arizona. Is that Squirt? I agree with, and I agree with Joe that Wednesday's show was pretty dumb. Come on, I, that, I think that was Korean. Or some bad representation of Japanese, man. Damn. It's our Squirt. Oh God, that phone booth. All right, let's play a little game of. Speaking of Cho, his namesake. Let's play a little fish game tank called Cho. Official command. Oh, official command. Yeah, official command. Official command. Yeah. How do you play it, Dave? Well, um, we pull it up onto our machines and um, double click on it, and then we open it. And it eventually opens. And there's going to be a little graphical representation of Andrew Cho. Oh. And, um. Oh, wait, I like this screen. This Andrew Cho figure will shoot laser beams at the fish, and when the fish get hit, they lose how many points per laser beam? Minus five. Minus five. And who's playing it? You're playing it. I'm playing it. Okay. We'll see what happens. Are you ready, Matthew? Do you have music ready for it? Uh, yeah, I am uh, I'm about to be ready. Okay. You got it queued up? I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Shameful. <laughs> 88 seconds left. I haven't seen any fish blow up yet. Jeez. Old Blue gets a 9 as 5. Another minus it's a five. Tank, man. No, you hit the chest. Uh -huh. oh, squirt point blank. Bitter. Double Good on hit. squirt. There's Tang. Nice. Get him, Dave. Come on. Come on, Dave. Reload. Damn it, you missed Dave. it. Don't yell at me. I can't take negative energy right now. Jeez. <laughs> oh, oh man. You barely missed Mammoth. Suck at this. Dave, you're the worst missile ch official Choman player. Oh, nice. Tang and Blue. Jeez. That's a dig. Oh, nice. did he walk into it? into it? Nice. Another for Tang. Another for Tang. Wow, Matt. Dave. That's funny. Max and Cho. Oh, I hit him shot. in the corner. Yeah, that counted. I take it back, Dave. All right, I got 30 seconds left. Yep. I'm going to get one for my man. Ooh, I don't know if I could hit him. Oh, nope. no. Shoot, he's too hard to get him. Overshot. He's protected. I got Jeez. Tang again. Oh, no, Tang is block. taking a beating. I, uh... No, that hit his tail. Okay. I'm trying to visualize shooting Tang. Ooh, damn. Jeez. Damn. Ten seconds, Dave. Uh -huh. Oh, a miss.
Alright, bitter. Bitter. Jeez. Oh, squirt pit. Oh, the end. And time is Jeez. up. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> wow. Well, that's some pretty nice points, Dave. Work, Dave. That was good Im improvement. Good, it good was and good bad. and you bad. Learned. You learned as you went on. Some things, in, it's uh, sweet and sour. Yeah. Sugar and spice. And everything nice, as they say in the in the East. I don't know what happens. I, I don't know if my fingers, they, they spasm when I start playing this game. My fingers yeah. literally spasm. Yeah. And I have to relax a little bit. I think Alrighty. that's going to change a lot. It might. Let's read through these numbers. Cho, what do these negatives say? These negatives, wow. So that, small. That did a lot of damage to Tang, didn't it? Minus 80 points. That should be minus 40. <laughs> okay, so it's not so bad, but still a lot. Oh, we have a question. Are you guys taking points off their score for the whole week? Yes. That's a lot of points, man. Yeah. Minus well, I shot 40. Him. I shot minus him. 40 for Tang. Eight times. What is your gaming perspective on this, sir? I mean, it okay. seems kind of uh, seems kind of OP. What does that mean? OP it's, is it's overpowered. Super, it's super strong of a game. Yeah, For you just, your, you just like destroyed that gamers. guy. I think it seems, seems dumb AF. What does that mean? People on Twitter say that's dumb AF. Oh, Did you see that? Yeah. SMH, dude. Yeah. I think my niece, listen. That's the way Fish Center works. It. It's yeah. different than <laughs> it's different than other games. It's different than Dota. It's different than. Evolve. It's different from baseball. It's different than Metal Gear Solid it's 2 Remastered. Or or 3, or Peace Walker, or any Metal Gear game. It's very different. It's from different every from Donkey Kong or Battlezone. It's different from Diddy Cubert. Kong Racing. It's different from it's all Zaxxon. your favorite games. It's, it's, different from it's different than Oblitus from Adult Swim games. Zelda or Oracle of Ages, or Zelda Oracle Seasons for Game Boy Color. It's Pong. different than Duck Game from it's Adult like Swim Pong. games. It's very different from Binding of Isaac. It's very different from... FTL. It's Atari very different Adventure. from Yars Revenge. Starcraft 2, Revenge of the very Swarms. It's Fish very Isle different Shomans than from Combat Games. Warcraft not anything 3. Like. It's different from Protoss from Starcraft. It's very different than or Dota. Zergs. Or Zergs or Terran. It's different from all of the races from Fantasy. All games. All from. Fish are Live, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Yo, what's up? Is this Silent Larry? This might be Silent Larry. No, we should say Quiet Larry. Yes. Hey, it's uh, John from Boston. Just want to say you guys got a wicked nice tank. I mean, I, I only got a little 10 gallon of fresh water here, but I wish one day I could have a tank with you guys. You guys' tank is amazing. Thanks so much, John. What the hell? John. TV show is this? I'm just wondering why you have this this show on. Nobody watches it. Nobody's awake at 4 p.m. besides the adolescent stoners watching Adult Swim. No one's awake at 4 p.m. Um, yeah. Please stop the show. It's so retarded. It's so stupid. I can't believe this is on. I can't believe you actually get viewers on this. I feel like someone's holding a knife to him. Yeah. <laughs> Please. Rival fish. Like that little dramatic voice I did? Please. It's different from Protoss. It's different from Metal Gear Solid. We've moved on. It's time for Coin Quest. Round three. Hey, buddy Matthew Forrest. Yeah. No, we can't put the coins up yet because you're gonna have to help us. Oh, okay. There hey. should there's a little Flatman's Harris. You take the coins. Yeah. No, he, we we're gonna move him around. Show us with Flatman Harris where on the tank you want us to put each coin. Just gotta find it. Yeah. You guys should give me a. There it is. Lots of opinions. Use his third hand and point where each coin should be. You gotta First, go up to the me, tank. Show me where you want the five to go. Whoa, he just punched blue. Five. No, well, you have to use Flatman yeah, Harris. <laughs> Flatman Harris has to do it. You have to use his third hand to place it. Okay. Now, was that so hard? Okay. 
Now, where does the next plus one coin go? Show it. Right there? Okay. Alright, last one. Flatman Harris. I don't think... <laughs> You're off the screen. Yeah, it's out of range. Okay, that's better. I'm going to put it right under range. Looks like a little boy who just got a game for Christmas and he's on the floor in front of the TV. <laughs> you guys probably gave him horrible instructions on how to do that. You did a great job. We've got now the first Flatman Harris Matt Forrest position. Oh, five points for Matt. <laughs> wait, what, wait, wait, what's going on here? Is this a meta game here? Meta Gear Solid. Pull out the controller. No, no. Look, look, look. 90 seconds on the clock. <laughs> Yeah, pull out the controller. That's Got a joke. Going. That's a goof. You're doing great. You gooned him, Joe. You're doing great, Matthew Forrest. That 90 was a, seconds that on was the clock reference. for round three. Round three. And please begin. Wow. One for Squirt and Blue. Another another duel. It's one in each round. That's got to mean something. I feel like ever since Tim got in here, there's been kind of a reverberation of the rakus. Of the rakis? Rakies. That's not a word. Ruckus? What are you trying to say? Say Ra something different. Raccoons. Did the other people cause a ruckus? So many coral blocks on coral that block. Bog. Although would a ruckus by a bunch of people holding rakes oh, be a there rakus? we go. Five for Tang. Matthew nodding his head. He loves that Tang man. Another five for Tang. Another one for Tang. Count Tang out of this, I'm telling you. Another one for Tang. Oh. I think uh, he made eye contact with me when he got that double five. He's a puffer. Did he wink? No, he just looked at me. That's how a fish tea bags. What? Mammoth gets a point. Mammoth blocking himself on the five. Puffer and Mimosa doing a little flirty over there. One for Tang. What's happening? Get a room, you two. Tang. I love the little son of a bitch. Oh, Mimosa's got a <laughs> rough seconds. voice. Man, the fish are sucking at coin quest today. Yeah, this is uh, a abysmal mm. round. They were way better yesterday. <laughs> yeah, that, honestly, one of the worst rounds I've ever seen. You think that they know that we've been two-timing them with other tanks? I mean, it's not really, it's it's uh, showing off their ability in comparison to the other fish. Tang was the clear star of that round. But it's not going to do it ever to compensate for that negative when the core met the official true man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, totally. Let's take a look at these numbers. 18 points for Tang, one for Mammoth, one for Blue, and one for Sir Squirt. Reflects for the weekly. Tang has brought himself back up, crawling above Greenberg for that third place place. Nobody can bring him down. I think we should bring Matt in for a little bit of a minute long sub attack. Wait, wait, he brought food. That? He brought food, didn't he? He did. Okay, well, have him bring in the food then, because I'm hungry. Well, show we're doing the show. Yeah, but I can eat while we're doing the show. Yeah, that's true. You can. Because you're not that valuable. Nope. Cho is looking over the numbers of everyone he's not answered the phone for and finding out which ones he wants to call later. You're you having trouble getting through? That's that's because of Cho. Call from? Fisher and Live, what's your name? Where are you calling from? This is uh, Chris Orissero calling from Houston. Chris Orissero? It's a good name. Cr Chris Orissero. That is a good name. Have we Chris talked Arisura. before, Chris Arisura? Uh I believe we have. Chris Arisura. Mm -hmm. Or Do you have problems with your wrists? No, I do not. I do not have purple tunnel. That's fine. You know what? When you said that, though, I was thinking carp. Right. 
right. Like fish on our show. Oh, oh mini eclairs. Oh, oh, hell mini yeah. Eclairs. You know, fish hit me. can get carpal thin. <laughs> I'm getting the first no, one. No, I didn't. Tell me all about it. My my numbness in my face um, is just starting to recede, well, so I'm ready kind to... Kind of like tennis elbow. Chew. Sugar, yeah. <laughs> from from oh, wait. Let me is get it from Coin piece. Quest? Yes. Definitely from Coin Quest. They're like from Greenbird zooming across the Squat down and give me a thumbs up. I'm sorry. Cho and Matt are just goofing off. We're posing with the food. Oh, it's no problem. So did you want um, to play Dive for I Coin? Could... Is that why you called? Yeah, I would. I would love to. All right. Well, well there's two coins it. left. Okay. Top. I think I want to go top left. You want to go top left. 25 you... points I on the line for Dottie. This is a potentially a 50% chance. You ready, top left? You sure? Yes, he's yes. sure. Chris Cicero doesn't make mistakes. Not that important, Max. Ooh. Oh, man. Looks like that was squirt, Cicero. All right, that's not a that's not a Drew, so that's good. You get, I guess you get to go to the last one. Uh, that, that would be bottom right? No, bottom or, middle. Uh, bo bottom middle? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take bottom middle for the win. That's a win. Wow, look at that, you won. So I get to choose my fish, or is it going to Dottie, no matter what? You get to choose your fish. Hmm. I'm going to have to go for uh, Greenberg today. 25 points for Greenberg? Yes. Now, these are what we like to call bonus 25 points. 25 points. 25 points. 25 points. Do you get it? Yes. Let's see what that does. I put a green, is Greenberg in the running now? Why Greenberg? Why do you pick Greenberg for your fish? Uh, I like his beak, and I like his sleek frame. Mm -hmm. He's a popular fish. You Matt's like, got a face full of food. You like his slenderness? Mm, that's so good. Yeah, he's got heart. Thank you. Well, you put Greenberg in second place. Oh. Take that, that just makes to the back. Up, didn't it? <laughs> Where are you calling from again, sir? I'm calling from Houston, Texas. Man, take that back to you. Tell everyone in Houston that you gave uh, an invisible 25 points to a fish on the Internet and see what they say to you. I'll be a local hometown hero. Homo hero? Take a picture of yourself Huma -huma? telling people that you gave them 25 Can we cut what points I said to a bird. <laughs> okay. Thanks, buddy. Definitely. Thank you. Huma Huma right. hero. Mm, Matt, thanks for these. These are great. Yes, thank you. They're hitting the spot. All right, we're going to set Matt up here with the controller, and he's going to play a game that we've devised, and it's called well, Sub-Attack. There he is with the with the foodstuffs that he brought that we're enjoying right now. They're delicious. Matt, you're going to have one minute to go to town on these fish. Okay? Do you have a target in mind? No. Okay. I'll tell you when to begin. Begin. Each hit minuses five points. Ooh, minus five for Sir Squirt. Get on Squirt. Minus five on blue. Ooh. <laughs> oh, you're gonna uh, unload, uh, unload on hamburger? Oh, oh, oh that's messed up. You can't up even go away. You're dead. <laughs> No, there is no, no. self-destruct. Yeah, wow. there is. No, is anyone no. counting these, by the way? How many was that? Maxes. The I'm splashback counting. destructs yourself. Yeah, uh -huh. you're, you're going to hurt yourself, and you're going to lose all your points. I think a hamburger to, is like negative 1,000 now. We're supposed to build that functionality into this, where yeah, you can so blow you can't yourself spam. up. Bam. For the sake of our guest, we'll let it slide this time. <laughs> What's the serving size for these eclairs? Is it 10? Because I've had about 7 by now. 10 seconds. Dave. Oh, oh what? Base. Double on Puffer. Wow, well, it's going to take him down to negative 10. <laughs> Jesus. Man, Boy. Get, get out. <laughs> <laughs> Are you happy with yourself? No, you make me play a game where I have to take points away from somebody. Yeah. We made you do it. Just don't take these <laughs> eclairs away. Mm. Thanks again for those. This this very, us, no, get very, back in the chair. This brings us to the dramatic conclusion of another episode of Fish Center. Be sure to watch us at 4 in the morning on Adult Swim. Maybe you're watching us right now on that time and channel. He has blood on his hands. Be sure to check out uh, 
Toonami pre-launch, which is right in the same streaming environment right next door. It's our channel next door here on AdultSwim.com. We've got a new board. Let's look at this board here. In first place, Hamburger. Second place, Greenberg. Third place, Old Blue. Fourth place, Mimosa. Tang, fifth place. Hamburger's still in first after all those shots he yeah. took to the grill. It didn't change everything, but it changed many things. Man, I didn't think he would recover from that. You know what? That's not true. Max, chew with your mouth closed. Wait, it is true. What's true? I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, Hamburger lost way more than a point. There we go. <laughs> he lost 20 points. Yesterday he got Son 25. Of a bitch. That should make a difference, right? No, no, I just looked at the wrong day. Oh. <laughs> What's happening here? I like to see Tang not in the top three. Are you in the this right week? Exciting. Yep. You know what you're doing, man. I'll Mike's tell you what's got going all on. Discombobulated. He saw an eclair. 80 for Hamburger <laughs> Monday. To wiggle. Monday, Hamburger got 80 points uh -huh. and a one. Okay. Wednesday, he got an additional 25 for okay. Dave leaving the room. Okay. Today, he lost 20. Puts him at 86. Okay. You convinced me. Listen, Tomorrow, we are going to have a players. fish feeding frenzy. Let's take one more look at this poll before we get out of here. And this will help us determine how to feed these crawfish to their masters. Which their, are the fish. Their uh, chain of command. Meet what are they called? The, meet the maker. Meet their maker. The cycle of life. There's also these mini cream puffs we haven't broken into. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Open those. Yeah. Let's try them. Uh, we may have to build the crotopult. I have no idea how we're going to do that. But we'll figure it out. Um, There'll be a dramatic feeding frenzy tomorrow. It might be a Crabuche. Matt Forrest. You're a Georgia Tech. Can't you figure uh, something out? What? Figure what out? How to build a catapult a for crawfish. crawfish? Oh, yeah. I was going to suggest earlier that uh, you guys use chopsticks and rubber bands. I like huh. this. This guy. Yeah. This guy's all right. We'll have to talk after the should show. It, should I be pissed? I think I should be pissed. No. Okay, what? I'm not pissed now. You should be pissed at me because what I said earlier. Why? Who, why Max, are you I'm pissed at you because I don't like your face. Wow. Well, How okay. about his bod? Do you like his bod? His bod's yes. okay. Yeah. Oh, that's shameful. How we'll about his feet? Do you like his feet? I've never seen his feet. One's bigger than the other. There's some mini puffs for oh, you. Oh yeah, hit me, hit me with one of them puffs. Grab the whole plate. Yeah. Grab the whole plate. I'll, I'll keep him away from Max. Are you, so are you kidding me? <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. I'll put him over here. <laughs> no, give me one. You. You're not allowed to have these. Max, you, got, you, you can hide some in your bra. There's a, a bunch of ants out. roaming around over here. so I have ants all over be my wary. computer. We'll be back tomorrow at 4 o'clock. More Fish Center Live. Mm. As if you can't even handle it. Tomorrow we have a fish feeding frenzy. I don't like any of these. What else do we have that tomorrow? We have some um, fish games. G. Young says, Don't show too many shots of the audience. No one wants to see humans. Wow. Can you do it? Is there a G Young voice that we can use from the computer? G yeah, let me see if I can set that up. G Cool? It would be J Cool. J Cool? Yeah. Sorry. Don't show too many shots of the audience. No one wants Let's to make see it louder. Humans. Hold on. Do it, a, do it again? Yeah. Um, do it again? Wait a sec. Do it again. Come on, man. Don't show too many shots of the audience. No one wants to see mad. That's more like G Young. Don't show too many shots of the audience. She talks really loud? Yeah. Don't show too... Alright, we get it. We get it. We'll be back tomorrow at 4 p.m. Thank you for watching Fish Center. Courage.